Say Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahushai, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahushai, for some praise and honor and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Brakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule by that great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the folk and the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Right, I just type in, um, is the Lord name Christ, right? But I leave out the H, <laughs> right? And this is what come up, right? Um, it says in Christianity, Christ, which in we know that A, hey, there's not a name, but, but basically, you can tell you right here too, right? Salakio. In Christianity, Christ, Greek, Christos, right? Meaning the anointed one, is a title for the Savior and redeemer who will bring salvation to the whole house of israel right so this is a straight cut for these john six these john 316 junkies right these crackhead right who are who like to say what about john 316 john 316 speaking to the israelites the world and john 316 is the israelites but this is a straight cut but you see what google do google gives some of the truth and mix it up with water right because we Christianity is white supremacy. We don't deal with Christianity. The most I give you law, statutes, and commandment to follow. You give it to the Israelites, you give it to the chain of Jacob, right? Which is the chain of Israel. Because Jacob name changed to Israel, right? So you see what the devil do, the devil gave some truth and mix it up with water. So if you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you can kind of filter out what is truth and what is not truth. Right? He's saying Christianity, Christ, Greek. Christus, meaning the anointed one, is a title. So Christ is a title. That's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai. Right? Right? And the word Christ in Hebrews is a Mashiach, which means anointed one. He's the anointed one. Right? And we know this image that we see in the Messiah. We know this is, this is an imposter. Let's go back to Serapis Christus. Right? Which is the Soka white man. Right? Um, it says here, yeah, it's a title for the Savior and Redeemer who will bring salvation to the whole house of Israel. And the word salvation means was saved, right? To the whole house of Israel. It is said to the whole world, it is said to the whole house of Israel, which is you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Salvation is to you. And the confusion of faces of Israel that scattered among these heathens. Salvation is to you. Salvation is to the children of Israel, the sons of Israel, not the whole world. Google, this is what Google telling you. It gives you somebody to rest down with water, right? It says, who will bring salvation to the whole house of Israel? It's a Christian believe Jesus is the Israelite Messiah. And your name is not Jesus, your name is Yahweh Shai. And we are not Christian, we are Israelites. Yasharala, he prince of God. So yeah, they gain some of the truth and they're mixing it down with water. Right? He said, Christian believe that Jesus is the is is the Israelite Messiah. Yeah, he's the Israelite Messiah, he's the Israelite Savior. He's our he's our, he's our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. For told both in the Hebrew Bible and in the Christian Old Testament. It's not a Christian testament, it's the Israelite Bible. Is the Hebrew Israelite Bible? That's our book. That's our history. That's our wisdom, knowledge, understanding. That's a book of prophecy, laws, and and woe and lamentation. Right? But let's show you all the devil watering, giving you some, giving you some of the truth and watering down the rest. So the men, the Lord, who got the Spirit, who got the Holy Spirit on them, they're gonna say for what's right, what's truth, and what's lies. Right, so hey, it tell you right there, salvation is only for the Israelites. Right, let me get a precept. Because these retired Christians like to like to like to like to say John three sixteen, not understanding what John three sixteen, who 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 which world that Yahweh Shai was speaking about, because the world world there in Greek is cosmos and and is a, and cosmos mean arrangement of stars. We're speaking to the Israelites. This is Jeremiah chapter three verse twenty three. He said, truly in vain is salvation hope for from the hills 
and from the multitude of mountains this is just symbolic for our nations right he said truly in the lord yahweh Bashem Yahushai, our power is the salvation of Israel. So Israel is going to be saved through their power. That's why Yahweh is going to send back his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to save Israel, which is you, Soka Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian, the 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children, confusion of faces, who are Israelites. Right? Is they is them gonna be saved, right? This is John chapter 4, verse 22. He said he worship, he know not what, and this is what Yahushai was telling the woman, right? He said he worship, he he know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of is of the Jews, which is the Israelites. Salvation is of the Jews. The Israelites gonna be saved. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be saved. The word salvation go back to save. Check it up for yourself. Right? You understand? Israel is going to be saved. Right? Um, let me get this. See, this is, um, let me get Romans. Right? Romans 10 and 1. Right? This is Romans. Alright. So lock you. Alright. People can't get around this. It's only the Israelites need to be saved from their enemy. We in the land of our enemy. We are, we in captivity and our enemies. It's only the Israelites need to be saved. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren. Who is Paul brethren? The Israelite right read romans 9 and 9 9 and 4 he said romans chapter 10 verse 1 brethren my heart desire and prayer to yahweh bashem yahushai for israel which is you so can negroes latins and native american indian for israel is that they might be saved you understand salvation is for the israelites right it's for the israelites right can't get around this cannot cannot this is romans chapter 11 verse 26 right romans chapter 11 verse 26 and so all israel shall be saved read this again this is romans chapter 11 verse 26 and so all israel shall be saved at it as it is written they shall come out of Zion, the deliverer, which is Yahweh Shai, this is named the deliverer, and shall turn away on godliness from Jacob, which is you so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. Right? You are the chain of Jacob, you are the chain of Israel. Right? So you people can't get around this. Yeah, so Google giving you a piece of the truth and then he makes the rest down with what lies. Right? But the men you learn to filter these things out. Right, this is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved. Who's Israel? You so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai with an everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation. Because we're not going to go back into captivity. We're going to rule forever. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. So this is the world that. That, that that is John 316 world without them who whosoever believe whosoever in this world whosoever Israelite believe on Yahweh Shai shall be saved because two third of people are gonna be destroyed so this world is the Israel that's speaking in John 316 right whosoever from this world which is the Israelite world which is the Israelite nation which is you so called Negroes Latins and Native American Indian whosoever believe shall be saved right a matter of fact, let me get one more. So lock let me let me get one more. Alright, let me get one more. Alright. You understand? Let me get this one more and show you. Is the elect gonna be saved? Alright, this is um this is our first Thessalonians. Alright. Yeah, first Thessalonians chapter um, chapter 3 
no, Salakia, yeah, Second Thessalonians. Yeah, Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse um. No, Salakia, yeah, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse thirteen. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh, for you, brethren, which is the Israelite. Beloved of the Lord Yahweh, right? He said, Beloved of the Lord Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh had from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and believe of the truth, right? Let me, let me read this again. Second Thessalonians 2 and 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you, brethren. Who is the brethren? The Israelite. Romans 9 and 4. Beloved, beloved, right? By uh, Bayad Dawada, the house of David, beloved, the elect of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, because the power had from the beginning chosen you to salvation, which to be saved, through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. You understand? So you can't get wrong this and with that. Uber says, Mr. Defiant, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule at Great Millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four candy earth, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.